What is up, everybody, and welcome back to God of War Ragnarok. So I got the sense Vanaheim wasn't supposed to be so humid. Was that the effect of Fimble Winter there? To a great extent, it seems. So Midgard had endless night and cold. Svartalfheim had earthquakes. Alfheim had the light randomly pulsing. But Asgard didn't seem to be having any effects at all. Odin had a long time to prepare. No change I noticed in Helheim or Muspelheim either. Now that I think of it, the more primordial realms might be less susceptible. How do you suppose Jotunheim is faring? Uh, how would I know? Just training your powers of speculation. I don't know. <laughs> nobody's there to see, does it even matter? Mamiya suspects. Which is fair. I will say though, um, uh, this episode, I've got a feeling, because we're going to jump back straight back into the story, but because I feel like we're really closing in on near the end now, like this is like episode 25 already, um, we should be get reaching a part soon where I imagine like, like they did in God of War, uh, God of War 1, not 1, but you know what I'm saying, uh, they'll basically say like, is there anything you want to do before we continue, you know what I mean? And at that point, it may be time to look around for some more um, berserkers, just to, you know, quickly get up as much of my overall XP as I can. But that'll be done pretty quickly. And then we'll be straight back in, because I'm going to cut out all the adventuring. Not all of it, but most of it, like 90% of it, and just keep the fights in. And then we're going to go straight back into the story and finish this off. So we are literally at the last leg of the race. But first things first, let's cook this dish. <laughs> Such a random way to begin the end of the game. Finish the story. Gladly. It was said that Yari and Soma first shared a kiss in the fields of Jotunheim. Wait, what? How did they get there? Don't know. Point is, they went on countless expeditions, each location more beautiful than the last. But they found as they did, the destination became less important than simply traveling together. What about oh. the unnameable thing? It was home. Yari and Somar had found it in each other. How sweet! Again, some slight parables there between Atreus and uh, Kratos, you know? Home is where the heart is. It's not the adventure's end. It's the friends you make along the way. <laughs> so corny, but it, it, it's, a, it's a fair point. It's the reason why that is a cliche, is that it is a fair point. Well, I feel good about that. I think we're done with most of the side questing for now. The only thing, like I said, I'm interested in now is killing the Zerkers. And I don't think I'm gonna get all 12, but get close enough and then finish off and then at the end we'll finish off the berserkers as a bonus episode and then kill the king but time to go back to Sindri's house I wanted to tell you I read something in Odin's library about what Galahorn is supposed to do. If blown by a god, it sounds through all the realms and harmonizes the space between them. Blow it somewhere like Tyr's temple, and it would be like opening up all the realm travel towers at once. Mm. It's quite the vulnerability. Wonder why he didn't just destroy it. Some artifacts defy destruction. Well, we should make Freya aware of this. I'm confused though. In the boat. We asked about this, and what, you just said nothing, Atreus? Dude, that's pretty pertinent to the question. Hello, the boss wants to talk to you. Okay, what does he want? Does this have to do with all the uh, knee hogs I've been capturing? Do I get a prize? I Please tell me I get a prize. <laughs> I do, it stinks. Quit missing around and come ring the child. Ah. <laughs> Good. You heard I was looking for you. Here's what I found. Five out of six. What a rambunctious bunch. Speak. The tree has become rather overgrown. And? And if it grows too wildly, 
The branches risk getting too heavy and falling, which is not ideal considering they hold all the rounds. I am no gardener. What an absolute shock. No, I do not require any horticultural skills from you, but I would ask that you keep an eye open for the stags of the Four Seasons. They normally graze upon the tree and keep it tidy. Unfortunately, Bitter decided it would be funny to trick Arrogant into releasing them. If you happen to find the stags during your travels, I would greatly appreciate assistance in bringing them home. I would have one of my spectral squirrels do it, but they, well, keep eating the feed I give them. <laughs> Consequence of it being the most delicious food in all the Nine Realms, I suppose. We have seen these stags. Great, then all you need is some feed. Once you've found a stag, the feed should calm them down. Then one of my spectrals will guide them back here. And, uh, don't eat the feed, please. I will not. Vigilus <laughs> asked me if I was too chicken to release them, but I am in fact not chicken-like whatsoever. So as you can see, I had no choice. Yeah, I course, see. We are needed elsewhere. Finding those lean worms. Well, that'll be handled as a bonus episode. We're not bothering with that right now. Hey, tell her she's the best. Oh, you're back. The heroes of the hour. I Are you want drunk? to hear everything. I mean, when you're ready, I'm not giving orders here, am I? Try to rest, Ingvi. Let the herbs work. Oh, they work? Oh, they, they work very well. Because <laughs> you make things better. You always have. Since... Since we were kids, I find a new way to get into trouble. And you find a way to make it better. Well, that's certainly true. Do you know... <clears throat> do you know we used to leave Vanaheim? Together? When we were young? Not much older than you, to be honest. Well, you know, she did the leading. I just... tried to keep things fun. <laughs> Leadership. Not really my strong suit, let's be honest. <laughs> oh, no, really? now he's feeling sorry for himself. Back in Vanaheim seems pretty devoted. Well, I can inspire people, I guess. I get them to see the best in themselves, you know? <laughs> I don't know if that's leadership. It's more like, um... Like a muse? Wait, like, like a what? A muse. Father told me about that. In his homeland, they inspired all kinds of artists. What? I love that. That's a job? <laughs> oh, why don't we have that? Oh, man. I could totally do that. I think they were all goddesses, though. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. That's not fair. That's not fair. I, I would be a natural. Oh. I do agree. Mean? Like, he fits the you muse sword. Rest. You know? You understand? Enough. Alright, everybody. Time to discuss. <laughs> you really did it. Mm hmm? How, in all the nine realms, did you manage to kill Heimdall? I knew our spear would do the trick. <laughs> He's so loud. Well, happy Ragnarok, everybody! Let's drink. Is it true? Uh. I'm Dahl's dead. I can't believe it. There's no stopping it now. Odin swore peace only so long as you spilled no more Aesir blood. I refuse that deal. Yet he honored it. Mm. Now. But what? You and I know better than anyone that Odin's promises never last. We have the advantage now. It's time to bring him down. No. He's still got Thor. None of you understand what's coming. Odin's vengeance will be his only concern. Not his only concern. The mask. Whatever knowledge it unlocks, that's what Odin wants more than anything. If I go back to Asgard, go I can't. Use... Go back. Look. If I can finish what I started there, awaken the mask, get answers, 
Maybe that's our way out of this. Mm. But I gotta go soon. Before they figure out what's happened. Trace, you are home. Do not ask me to put you at risk again. He's at risk where he stands, Kratos. We all are. Anything we do or don't do is dangerous right now. That's true. But Odin needs me. He trusts me. I'll be safe there. I mean, it's still a massive risk. From a tactical perspective, am I wrong? I don't much like it, but it is our best play. Dividing Odin's focus would buy us time. That's Don't true. give us a pair of eyes in the enemy's inner sanctum. But if there is truly a source of infinite knowledge, you can't let Odin have it. Aye. And once he has what he needs from you, then I lose my leverage. I get it. I'll be smart. Father, I can do this. This will be a big moment. Is he going to let him? Remember our promise. That's big. He trusts him enough. That's big. I like this. This is growth. And actually really well written. Like... <laughs> That's their way of being like, it was good knowing you. <laughs> I still want to hear how you did it. You mean how we did it? I uh, yeah, have it. And therein lies a tale. <laughs> Mamiya loves telling stories. All right, back to being Atreus, unlocking the mask. Let's do this. We're off to go see the one-eyed man. So it looks like I'm not Atreus, doing any side listen. quests. Oh, I can't let you go back without this. A hammer? Your key, please. You ever need a way out of a bad situation? Throw this down hard and say Wergi. One use only. Wergi. Thanks, hmm. Indri. Hope I don't what need is that like a Me too. mystical smoke bomb. It just disappears. Are we going through or what? Oh, here we go. All right. Odin said Hugin would be waiting in the cabin. Mimir, anything else I should know about Odin? Maybe a weakness or something? Like if I flip up his eye patch, he'll disintegrate. Aye, lad. Well, not, nah, babe. <laughs> yeah, no. Sorry, Mimir. I can't do your accent. I'm on my <laughs> own for this one. I don't know. It is kind of a quirky thing, but I do like how he talks to himself as Kratos and as Mimir. <sighs> Here we go. It also adds to that whole, uh, you know, think of my voice in your head, I'll think of your voice in mine. Because that is how he thinks, you know? He thinks of, what would they say? What was that? That sounded really big. Ben? Oh yeah, the big, I forgot about that! <gasps> you made it there back. he is! Oh, look at him! He's so big and good. Hey. He's a good dog. Good boy. Yeah, who's a good boy? This Look is at your him. wolf? Ah. Stop oh, you're popping that. up everywhere these days. Oh. Were you having a moment? It sort of looked like you were having a moment. I can go. No. Sorry. <laughs> this is Fenrir. It's okay, Ben. She's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's adorable. So I was right about your knife. Huh? I'm glad you found a place for his soul. <laughs> me too. Hey, uh, how'd you find me here? Loki? This is my marble. <laughs> and where are you heading off to? Back to Asgard. Hey, I'm actually using him. Uh-huh. Ah! <coughs> Angry Boda, oh, look. Oh, no. Once I see this through, I'm gonna know 
everything. How to save my father, how to stop Ragnarok, and maybe, hopefully, how to bring our people back. Loki, those are all very noble intentions. But he's Odin. Mm. You have faith in me, right? Of course I do. I just hope the story you're writing for yourself is the one that you truly want. Would you... Would you take care of Finn while I'm away? I'll take good care of him. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. These two are adorable. Like, I know they won't show it probably, but I wonder if they Be do careful, end up together. Loki. I imagine so. They're the last two giants. Also, kind of weird that Loki has a marble. Did she make it or did she find it? Like, did Faye make his marble? Or did he just always have one? Wish they had explained that a little bit because I'm a little confused. Okay. Dugan, where you at? Oh, here we go. This is gonna be weird. Just showing back up. Just gotta help Odin complete the mask, but also make sure he doesn't get any answers from it. Easy, right? Let's do this. Operation Get Mask. If you had nothing to do with it, then why isn't he here? Just because someone isn't here to defend themselves doesn't mean they're guilty. I mean, what kind of messed up logic? Heimdall's dead. Suddenly this boy, he won't stop hanging oh. around, there's nowhere to go. Oh, are they in there? literally working with Grandfather! Oh. Well, that puts me so much more at ease. Hey, uh, sorry for interrupting. Oh, you're not interrupting anything. Forsetti's investigating, so the truth will come out soon enough. I hope it does. Yeah. I... You better go. Oh. I was gonna say, I'm very happy to see you, but you don't look so happy to see me. I suppose it's been a couple of days. Heimdall's dead. Looks suspicious, doesn't it? But, you know, doesn't mean I'm guilty. Technically, father is. <laughs> okay. Panic does nothing. Harness it. Hey, big man, how's it going? Dead. Happen to know something about that? Anything? Well,. I mean, everyone hated them. Yeah. Sure, sure. But have you seen anything? Something noteworthy? I Rocks mean, have been slippery lately. Maybe he know, fell. He did sock through pretty hard while we were out. Maybe someone found out. Got even? I, I don't know. Uh, are you setting up Thor right now? Dude, Are you suggesting my son had something to do with this? Yeah. I don't know. Honest. Well, I had to ask. Never believed you had anything to do with this. I'm glad you're back. A little quick to so I welcome back. So I figured out what went wrong. I mistranslated a word here. Did you know? I thought it said beyond the cry of cold breath, but it actually reads the cry of first breath. Well, that's somewhere else. Entirely, I know where that is. Young man, you've done it again. Go. Take the mask, take the sword, take the bird. Find Thor. I'm going to Niflheim. The cry of first breath. Is that where everyone came from? Niflheim. Oh, look! Yeah, we got our sword back. <laughs> nice! Alrighty. Off we go, hey, on Andrew, another mission. You wouldn't happen to know where Thor is. Yeah, I figured. He's probably out smashing things. All right, take it easy, everyone. I did not kill Heim down. Scout's honor. Sorry, um, all father said I'm supposed to head to Niflheim with your dad. I haven't seen him around and I was wondering if you had any idea where he could be. He wasn't with grandfather? No. I think I know where he might be. Follow me. I, uh... 
also wanted to talk to you about Heimdall. Don't. Not here. You're okay. right. Later. <sighs> All these people. Shh, shh. So I know you're talking about me if you go shh. All right. In we go. Oh, wow. I go. Sorry. <laughs> Back in Helheim. I told you I'd help your mom understand how much becoming a Valkyrie meant to you. I wanted to, uh, let you know that I meant it. You didn't. And you're still alive? I haven't yet, but I will, as soon as I come back. <laughs> There'll be plenty of time to get under her skin later. Thanks, Loki. Hmm. I like this, making good friends. Hopefully she doesn't become our sworn enemy. Kind of like how the whole Freya incident happened. Weapons aren't allowed inside. We'll have to check them. Why? Is this the meat hall? Come on. This way. I thought your oh. dad quit drinking. Come on. They're not going to let you in otherwise. Well, let's be honest. I couldn't do much damage with it anyway. Actually, we don't know that. Look, he's pretty strong now. He's pretty independent. He can fight. Just... Look around. Yeah. He'll be here. <laughs> so, uh, your dad fell off the wagon? How do you feel about that? How's your mum coping? Huh? Are these questions too personal? They might be. Hey! What an ass. Also, you should know you got pink eye. Oh, everyone in here's got pink eye. Uh, Guten Tagen? I'm... It's fine. Oh, yeah, he fell off the wagon hard. Hey, Thor. Seems like it might be a bad time, so... If you need a moment, I totally understand. No rush, but... Uh, right where I thought you'd be. Pleased to be here. You shouldn't be here. You... You shouldn't have brought her here. She brought me? What are you doing? Relax. Did I say no rush? I meant we should get going, right? Oh. We don't want to keep the all father. Wow. The confidence right. was just you radiating from him. Dad? Don't do this. It's already done. Let it be known, the God of Thunder is good for two things. Killing giants and pissing me. Any man who disagrees will greet Mjolnir with his face. Well, I'm not disagreeing, but we should get going. Your dad's gonna be angry. This isn't you. Thor. <clears throat> Hugin is waiting outside. Please, let's just... I said, quiet, boy. My name is... <gasps> <gasps> uh... No, that was the big no, guy. I... Oh, Whoa! Come on. No, no, no! I swear that really wasn't. Just hit him. Hit him hard. Nah, you should hit him. Up. Oh. Duck under it. Up. Oh. Ooh, there we go. Use your height. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Nice. Oh, jeez. Oh crap. Oh, fine. Oh no. In the kneecaps! Kick him in the kneecaps! Oh, great. I needed that. Oh. Woo! Rude! You bad bitch. Oh. Great. Look, guys, surely we can work this out. Oh! Uh. E. Mm. Woo! Well, the good news is, is I'm definitely quicker. 
got my back right now otherwise i'd be stuffed oh hey big guy what are you doing just hanging out by the bar enjoying the show this is kind of your fault you know could at least you know give me a slight hand you could be helping more don't you think you could end oh wow well, he's hammered seriously all righty oh damn ingrid nice Actually, come to think of it, it doesn't hurt to kill these guys, does it? They're just gonna come right back. Damn it. Ow! Right there. Nice through! I love when he does that. He just bludgeons him while he's on the ground with his bow. Nice! Oh! Oh, yeah! That's it! Oh, 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 shit. I'm about to do this. <laughs> ground and bound. Yeah, Loki. This is savage. That's what I wanted. I want to see more of this, Loki. Oh no. Oh! Oh great. How are you so conscious? Woo! Man, I could use my bow right about now. I mean, not my bow, but my arrows. All right. Milnir and Ingrid are fighting. Oh, yes. Will Odin be mad I'm killing Enriar? They're already dead. They can't really die again. That's a good point. Whoa! Oh crap, she's getting just absolutely dog piled on. Whoa! Oh no. Oh crap. Can someone get the big guy? Yeah, this is bad. This is really bad. That's it! Oh. No, you gotta go for the elbow, the joints. You gotta go for the joints. Fold your back. Oh, never mind. Just crush his head. What if you started again? Right now, just put down the. Grab his arms. Let's get him out of here. Are you seriously suggesting we carry him? <gasps> this guy's gonna weigh like a ton. Uh, or at least like uh, 500 pounds. Look at him. He's all muscle and fat. I to see him like this. No, no, it's fine. Really. Dude, his hands are gigantic. Hey, I'm strong, but you've got to help me out here. I'm trying. Your dad is a literal bear. Come on, it's not that far. That's it. Come on. Almost there. Ooh. I don't see how taking him on a mission with me is going to be useful. At this point, he's just kind of a huge paperweight. A very volatile paperweight. Thor? Get up. Uh, 
Sarudi. <laughs> you are going to Niflheim with Loki. All Father's orders. You have to get up. I know you're disappointed. Disappointed? No, 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 no. That was a glorious fight. You can't even say you're sorry this time, can you? Because what's one more broken promise? Hmm. I feel bad for the guy. Grandfather treated you like crap. You were struggling. I get it. But you can't just... <sighs> Look, sometimes when you're struggling with shit, it's, it's a crutch, but yeah, you fill it with other things. Mom and I are here for you. Even when you're here. We love you. You know that. I just thought this was behind us. I fucked up. Yeah, you fucked up. Yeah, but sometimes it's not as simple as, like, we love you. Sometimes it's like, they don't love themselves, you know? I don't think Thor is a very happy person. Can I get you a water or something? Fine. I think he needs a cold bath is what he needs. Again. Also, he's still bleeding from the waist from that cut. How long ago was that? That must have been at least like... Let's make this quick. Like a month ago in terms of game door. time. Just get us to that mask piece. Alrighty. Actually find the final mask fragment. Yes, let's do it. Come on, big guy. We gotta get a move on. Don't forget to look for loot. Mmm. Was it worth it? I don't know what you're talking about. Fine. I'm talking about falling off the wagon. I you like that detour. I was drunk. Not blind. Fair enough. So, uh, you're a mead guy, huh? Where to now? Whiskey. You like whiskey? I like whiskey. Look at this romantic frozen cavern. Maybe, uh, I could bring an Angaboda here. I mean, who? What? I don't know any other giants. Something about Niflheim makes me think of, like, those, like, um... I don't know, like, a Narnia hey, and stuff. Why do we just fly over these guys straight to the mat? You think I want to carry you all that way? You're well, you could. I'm not your pack horse. No, but it would speed this up a bit. Ow! How dare you! I am Loki, champion of the Jotunar, son of Kratos. Son of also Faye. Urgh. Oh, Threw very good. Up to you. I hope you know that. Don't need a lecture about parenting from you. Just find the thing. Well, you could use it from someone. Looks like we gotta head through that wall. Do you Something wanna... I need to do first. Huh? What? Oh, are you gonna chuck? Oh, okay. I mean, probably better no, out than in. We can go. Yeah. I will say, after I throw up when I've been drinking, I feel like a million bucks. I mastered the art. I used to be able to throw up while walking. <laughs> Loki, you really keep trying to... To what? I don't even know what you're trying to do anymore, but you have no idea the kind of shit I've been through. Right. 
Have giant son of a powerful god with impossibly high expectations. How could I ever know what that's like? Hey, he makes a lot of good points. You guys basically have the exact same background. Whoa! Holy crap! I caught that so fast. The reflex is like a cat. Ow, not so much. <laughs> that always happens to me. As soon as I open my mouth, I just get instantly disproved. Ah. Oh. Well, Thor likes to take his time killing things, huh? Considering he's, you know, almighty Thor. Oh, shit! Woo, again! Cat-like reflexes. Whoa. Ah! Boom! You know, I'm not trying to do anything. I'm just pointing out we're not that different. I got no interest in bonding over shared blood. Well, I don't know, you seem to have a thing for blood. Blood oaths, shared blood, blood pudding. I don't know. Just saying, can't we be friends? For at least a little bit. Another wall of ice. Hmm. Thor, mm -hmm. could you... Ooh, could at least warn me. Okay. I just want to add one more thing. If you can't be yourself, you also might not feel like you can follow your own path. That doesn't sound familiar to you at all? Mm. Don't bother getting up. Ooh. Find ya! Saved your life, you owe me. Life debt. <laughs> so we've got some similar life experience. What does it matter? Seems stupid to gripe about the things we can't change. But you can change it. Yeah. You know, last time I checked, your dad was a bit of a dick. So you could, you know, maybe not follow him. But I get it, you know. Blood's thicker than water. Hey, see? Through line. Blood. I think you do have a thing for blood. Oh, over here. That sounded like it was behind me. I don't know why. This one's yours. Mm. <laughs> Boom. Ah. Thor, can't you just clear the path ahead for me, big guy? I mean, seriously, this would take you no effort. Ah, uh, he's been possessed. Ow. <clears throat> Come on. There we go. Ooh, nice. Ooh. We're far from Yvaldi's workshop, right? Far enough. Wanted to go there and grab some stuff, I'm guessing. <laughs> it's been a long time since we've been to Yvaldi's. Pale Meadows. Whoa, Answer. Frost Giant! With the griping. Calling out a problem isn't griping. It's healthy. Yeah, it's true. Not to mention, it's a good tactical thing to do. Whoa! Freaking with that Max Payne slowdown. Ow! Yeah, I get it. You're trying to say I'm weak. I would like to see you do all this at your age. Actually, you probably did a lot better. Ow! Come on. Mm. I am struggling here. Ow! No! 
Oh no, I am completely blocked in. Come on. Here we go. Mm. Oh, I was hoping to get a cool animation out of that. Come on. Help. There we go. Ooh. And then kick. Yes. Oh. Woo. We took down a frost giant. Just blast them apart. Poof. Problem solved. Don't have to think. Don't have to feel. Yeah, I'm starting to think your uh, father, technically, not your granddad, was right. Maybe you are a bit of a thicky. <laughs> Don't seem very emotionally intelligent. Hmm. Through there. Just ahead. Oh, this way. This will be fun. I don't think that's where we're supposed to go. So, I said it'd be fun. Fair what? enough. Yeah, he really doesn't want to go off the edge, huh? Yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! That worked. Hello. Nice. What are you going to say when you see them again? Sif and Throod, I mean. If all father's pleased, it doesn't matter. Look, kid. I don't need you to solve my family problems for me. Just find the mask. Let's get out of here. I do kind of feel bad for him in a lot of ways. Like, he's like this champion of the Aesir, and his father treats him like an absolute piece of shit, you know? And his family is a little bit disappointed in him, but they do love him, And but he, he probably carries with him a lot of guilt, which only compounds, you know, the self-loathing. I don't imagine it would be fun if, Up like, you only like known... Path to be good for smashing things, you know. One pathway coming up. Oh, that way. Okay. You enjoying the freedom? Out here without Fabio looking over your shoulder. I uh well, yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's different from what I'm used to. In a good way. That was kind of interesting for him to ask that. Looks like we gotta get up that cliff. I think maybe. No. Thank you. It's Fair enough. I know it's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're at the top now. Mist Don't. fields. We're close. Uh, maybe. I can check. Close enough. Oh! Uh, this one's <laughs> Hello. Whoa. Oh, thanks, Thor. I think we're starting to warm up to each other. See you, you sneaky bastard. Thor, I um hope everything goes okay when you see Sif and Thud again. Well, hope is better than thinking. It's a start. <laughs> ah, I feel bad for him, but. I do also want Kratos to kill him in a weird way, just for the, the the pride of it, you know what I mean? To be able to say Kratos killed Thor. Because that's going to be a hell of a fight, no matter how we look at it. It's like I said in my video, that's a prize fight that I'd buy pay-per-view tickets to. Kratos versus Thor. Ooh. 
Hmm. This way? Seems to be the only way. But it's blinking this way. Yeah. So I go this way. Oh, that's why. I wasn't supposed to go any further. Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Woohoo! Come on now. Oh, he saved me. Gotcha. Ooh. Phew. That was close. Um, thanks, Thor. Wasn't about to lose that man. Oh. Loki, you did it. We are on the verge of great things, all of our work together. Uh-huh. You're welcome. Oh. I'm sorry. You are here. Why? His father murdered Heimdall. For said he has proof. Take him. No. Leave him alone. I command it. You said no more Aesir blood would be spilled. You said family comes first. You don't think that this is retribution for him being here? He's put your granddaughter in danger. He's made your son miserable. Loki didn't kill Heimdall. His father did. Your daughter is old enough to make her own mistakes. And your husband started drinking again all on his own. Dismissed! E you too. A word. Oh, no. Wow, he's really, really, like, just all about the mask. He doesn't give a fuck. Did you see what's happening? He's not protecting us. Magni, Modi, our boys. We used to tell them stories by the fire. Do you remember? We would carve those wooden horses. We would play and laugh until the sun sank and they fell asleep in our laps. They were thrown at the Allfather's problems like brittle knives to a mountain face. And for what? What if Thrut's next? Mm. Uh oh. Yeah. No. Not me. You killed my son. I killed one. Sleep in their beds. Turn my father against me. My daughter. I have no idea what's happening. You know, I finally thought of something I can teach you. Hey! you what was that word? Whack me? Right. Where are you? That's the one. Ah! ah! Yeah, I would have gotten killed. I would have been Wagney in the bank. You sure know how to plan an exit. Oh. Uh. Hey, how'd you know it's here? Got the mask. Hmm. Alrighty. Glad you're safe, lad. Got out just in time. Pretty sure I burned my bridges in Asgard, though. Wait. Why were you out here? Sindri told us where you would arrive should you find trouble. Oh. Thought you might have been exploring without me. No, lad. Your dad was just concerned. Though, now that you mention it... Mimir. Brother, please. It's all so crowded and tense back home. Don't you miss the three of us out finding our own adventures? Mm, putting off the inevitable. Exactly! It's not the worst idea. I do want to show everyone the mask, but it'll keep... Hmm. <sighs> That's nah, true. This is the moment I was talking about, where they would eventually allude to the fact of get things done before it's too late. Return to Sindri's when ready. Well, I mean, I'll have to think about this some. We'll continue in the next episode. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit up my other kinds of content and enjoy your night or day. What is over the tech and easy boys and girls? Peace out.